shit is it? Shit. <laughs> so we just started our section between St. Arnold and Boyle Village down near Lodge Pass. Ridge track. I'm gonna walk along the ridge to Angela's hut for lunch, and then all the way back down the other side to Sabine hut. Another amazing morning view. Pretty happy we decided to come up this way instead of walking along the lake down there. It's gonna be a sweet morning. We're walking up this track up here and then over the back of that. It's Angela's hut, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, stunning. Clouds coming in. Sweet! Walked along that ridge, came up this saddle, and now we're heading to Angela's hut for lunch. You can kind of see why they charge you money to stay here. <laughs> Dad's an idiot. Let's walk down that ridge from Angela's hut. You can see Andy, our German friend, just coming over the poop now. Sidled along here. Down sided off and track that direction. Going down there. And down into Sabine Hut, which is down there, back at 400 odd metres. And then we're following the Sabine track up the river tomorrow. That direction. And then we're heading up the Wayu Pass. Looks like there's a bit of snow over that way, so it's going to be interesting. top and then the day after we're going over Wire Pass. But the scenery has been incredible. And quite amazing considering this isn't part of the Tiararoa. <laughs> and this is probably today has probably been the best views we've had. Um, and not that difficult a track to get them so it's been really nice. So this is the second night on the Wire Pass section down in Sabine Lodge, which is on Lake Rotatoa, which we're looking at just now. It's very nice. And we're going back up tomorrow to Blue Lake's hut, which is supposed to be the clearest natural water source in the world. Which we'll see about that tomorrow. Um, just been looking through the topo maps and the notes for um, the next section between Lewis Pass and Arthur's Pass. And then after that, we've got these two rivers that we need to cross, but it's getting slightly nervous about it. So I feel like we've lucked out way too much on the weather in the last two or three weeks. And uh, these sections, it's really dependent on how much rain you have, whether you can actually do them or not, or whether you get stuck in a hut for a few days when you're waiting out. So, but I suppose there's nothing we can do until we get there. Really looking forward to getting to Hanmar Springs, go for a hot pool. Yeah, going over the Waiu Pass day after tomorrow, that should be a good highlight of the trip. As long as the weather stays clear and we can see it. Yeah, it's been really good fun, loving being on the South Island. 
after we do these river crossings it's down to Tekapo and then basically that's me home free, beat everywhere else. It's gonna be great.